This is Delta Launch Control at T minus two minutes and five seconds and counting. The launch vehicle director has instructed the launch conductor to continue working toward liftoff. Prop one and two heaters off. Off. Prop one, pressurized vehicle ox tank. Pressurizing. FAC, establish pulse suppression water on. Roger. T minus 95 seconds. T minus 90 seconds. SSC, hydraulic external power on. External. HYE, check hydraulic pressure, go. Go. T minus 80. Topping to 100%. ROC, report range go for launch. Range go. LC, this is LD, you'll go for launch. Roger. T minus 70. SSC, hydraulics internal. Internal. T minus 60. LC, T minus 60 second limits on. On. Water flow. 100% locks. T minus 45. LC, launch enable to flight. Flight. ATC 3, main power disable on. On. T minus 40, 35. Hydraulics go. T minus 30. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and we have liftoff, liftoff of a Delta II rocket carrying Cosmos Skybed 4 for the Italian Space Agency and the Ministry of Defense. This marks the 350th launch of the Delta rocket in its illustrious 50-year program history. We will now hear flight commentary from Steve Agat. Good chamber pressure on all ground lit solids. 22 seconds into the flight. Good engine control, main engine pitch and yaw, good engine control on the vernier pitch and yaw. Passing 30 seconds, Mach 1. Vehicle now going transonic. Climate solid uh, chamber pressure now beginning to drop as expected at this time of the flight. Passing 45 seconds now. Maximum dynamic pressure, max Q. 15 seconds remaining now until we burn out those four groundlet solid motors. 56 seconds in. We have burnout of the groundlet motors. Be holding on to those groundlet motors for about 15 more seconds or so to assure we have a good water impact point. Standing by for jettison. And we have jettison. All four solid rocket motors jettisoning correctly from the vehicle. One minute, 36 seconds into the flight. Altitude now 17.5 nautical miles. Downrange distance 3.9 nautical miles. Velocity 1,500 miles per hour. Approaching one minute, 47 seconds in. Main engine uh, pitch and yaw very stable now. Vernier engine uh, pitch and yaw very stable. Good chamber pressure on the main engine. Good chamber pressure on both verniers as we approach two minutes. Mark, two minutes into the flight. Altitude 23.4 nautical miles, downrange distance 5.1 nautical miles, velocity 2,023 miles per hour. As we pass about 2 minutes 15 seconds into the flight, halfway through a first stage flight. Still looking good, very stable burn on the main engine and very good engine control and pitch and yaw. Vernier engine control very uh, settled at this point as we're approaching two minutes, 30 seconds. Mark, two minutes, 30 seconds in. Altitude, 30.1 nautical miles. Downrange distance, 20.9 nautical miles. Velocity, 2,992 miles per hour. Two minutes, 45 seconds. 
Main engine uh, chamber pressure continuing to hold very, very good right where we want it to be. Vernier engine uh, chamber pressure on both verniers also looking good at this time as we're approaching the three minute mark in the flight. Mark, three minutes into the flight, altitude now 36.1 nautical miles, downrange distance 44.9 nautical miles, velocity 4,369 miles per hour. Three minutes, 15 seconds, a little over one minute until main engine cutoff. Still looking good at this time. Main engine uh, chamber pressure continuing to hold rock solid, as in both verniers. Two minutes, 30 seconds, about uh, 45 seconds remaining until Miko. Good engine control and um, pitch and yaw. Good vernier engine control and pitch and yaw. Altitude now 44.5 nautical miles. Downrange distance 93.1 nautical miles. And velocity 6,757 miles per hour. Three minutes, 50 seconds. Still looking good. About a half a minute until main engine cutoff. Passing the four minute mark. Mark, four minutes. Altitude now 50.6 nautical miles, downrange distance 131.5 nautical miles, velocity 8,735 miles per hour. Standing by for main engine cutoff about 10 seconds from now. Vernier engine uh, chamber pressure beginning to drop as main engine chamber pressure beginning to drop. Standing by for Miko. And we have Vico standing by for one, two, SEP. And we have one, two, SEP. And second stage chamber pressure is increasing. Good burn on the second stage. And we have fairing separation. Second stage chamber pressure now uh, right where we want it to be. Very good burn on the second stage. Four minutes, 56 seconds into the flight. Altitude 72.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 263.7 nautical miles and velocity 10,587 miles per hour. This uh, first burn of the uh, second stage should last about uh, 6 minutes 42 seconds. We're passing 5 minutes 18 seconds into the flight. Still looking good. Altitude now 80.9 nautical miles, downrange distance 326 nautical miles, velocity 10,803 miles per hour. Second stage uh, chamber pressure is holding very, very steady. Good steady state value. Looking at our um, major mission events up to this point, uh, major mission events occurring within one second of the predicted times. Six minutes into the flight. Altitude now 90.8 nautical miles, downrange distance 423 nautical miles, velocity 11,218 miles per hour. Now approaching six minutes, 30 seconds into the flight, about two minutes into the burn, and about uh, four minutes and 40 seconds or so until SECO-1. Chamber pressure is still holding rock solid right where we want it to be. Engine control very, very good on the second stage. Six minutes, 50 seconds in altitude, 99.6 nautical miles, downrange distance 561 nautical miles, Velocity 11,856 miles per hour. Now passing seven minutes. Control continues to look good. And the CRDs have been commanded off. Coming up seven minutes, 25 seconds. Altitude, 103 nautical miles, downrange distance, 656 nautical miles, velocity, 12,345 miles per hour.
And we have uh, switched to our Tidris mode. Now approaching eight minutes into the flight. Mark, eight minutes into the flight, altitude 104.9 nautical miles, downrange distance 756 nautical miles, velocity 12,913 12, miles per hour. Approximately three minutes remaining until SECO 1. Minutes 30 seconds in, second stage chamber pressure continuing to look good. Engine curl on the second stage also looking very good at this time. Eight minutes 45 seconds, altitude now 105 nautical miles, downrange distance 894 nautical miles, and our velocity 13,693 miles per hour. Coming up on nine minutes, Mark, nine minutes into the flight, a little over uh, two minutes and ten seconds remaining until SECO 1. Nine minutes, 18 seconds in, about two minutes till SECO 1. Engine control continues to look good in pitch and yaw on the second stage. Chamber pressures just beginning to decline marginally. Nine minutes, 40 seconds in altitude, 103.5 nautical miles, downrange distance 1,080 nautical miles, and velocity 14,806 miles per hour. up now on 10 minutes into the flight. Mark, 10 minutes into the flight. Still looking good. Second stage chamber pressure uh, is beginning to decline as we expect the SECO 1 a little bit over one minute from now. Second stage uh, pitch and yaw control is excellent. Very little engine movement. Less than one minute till SECO. 10 minutes and 24 seconds into the flight. To now 101.4 nautical miles, downrange distance 1,243 nautical miles, velocity 15,803 miles per hour. Ten minutes, 45 seconds in, about uh, 30 seconds or so until SECO 1. Noticeable decline now in the second stage chamber pressures we'd expect at this time of the flight, passing 11 minutes, and we're standing by for SECO about 10 seconds or so from now. And we have SECO. Hydraulic system pressure beginning to drop. Pumps off. Twelve minutes into the flight now, altitude 100.1 nautical miles, downrange distance 1,606 nautical miles, velocity 16,954 miles per hour. We've uh, just input our first roll rate. 